Okay, so the difference between uh, age spots, acne scars, and melasma, this was asked by a viewer, Carrie C. And um, all of those can be under the categorization of hyperpigmentation. So when someone says, I have hyperpigmentation, I usually ask for more specifics because it just depends on, because they can all fall under hyperpigmentation. So, and they all can be exacerbated by sun exposure and or inflammation. So the first one is age spots. Age spots are uh, otherwise known as solo lentigines or liver spots. They're more common in mature adults. And that's usually the result of uh, accumulation of long-term sun exposure and or hormonal fluctuations that cause irregular pigmentation. And when you see someone that has fair hair or fair skin, usually the color of their age spots is going to be anything from like a t light tan color all the way to like a reddish brown color. And that's because the pigmentation is caused by... Um, uh, pheomelanin. So pheomelanin is like a red yellow pigmentation and then dark haired and or dark skin their age spots is going to be anything from a light brown color all the way to a black color because it's caused by eumelanin which is the black brown pigment. And the next one is acne scars. Now acne scars are hyperpigmentation but it's also under post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is any pigmentation that is caused by injury to the skin. So it can be anything superficial, such as an acne scar or a scrape, all the way to a burn or even surgery. So the deeper the wound is, the darker the pigmentation is. Um, and when I say acne scars, I'm, I'm specifically talking about the pigmentation, the super pig, superficial, hyperpigmentation. I'm not talking about the um, pock marks which cause the uneven texture of the skin. So that's that's totally different. Okay, and that's actually typically post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, the superficial uh, hyperpigmentation is the easiest to treat. The most difficult to treat and the most stubborn to treat is melasma. So melasma is usually triggered by hormonal fluctuations and long-term inflammation. And it could be anything from medications, such long-term medications such as prednisone, and it could be caused by birth control uh, pills or um, anything to treat the thyroid. So any kind of hormonal medication that affects the hormones. So that's one of them. Another one could be topical medications plus UV exposure. So retin, retinoids or glycolic acids or um, any, any kind of topical acids with uh, sun exposure can cause long-term inflammation, which can lead to uh, melasma. Now, more invasive treatments such as light therapy, uh, laser, microdermabrasion, microneedling, aggressive peels, any one of those can also lead to long-term inflammation that can lead to the melasma. Now, I'm not talking that those specific treatments can lead right into melasma. However, it's usually improper pre or post treatment protocol on prepping the skin and then also reducing inflammation and recovery of the skin after these type of invasive procedures, as well as um, if it's a improper treatment that's matched to a, a skin type. So that skin type can't handle that type of treatment. So then it ignites that melasma. So um, it, it just depends. Um, and acne scars cannot turn into melasma unless you used one of these topical medications or invasive treatments to treat the acne scars, which then incurred the, it, it, it incited that uh, inflammation. So then it turned into melasma. Acne scars cannot turn into age spots because they're triggered by two different things. Um, and so if you are looking for more specific treatments according to what you have, then click on the link below. And if you, when you click that link, scroll towards the bottom and there is a link to an acne scar quiz and a melasma quiz. And based on how you answer those questions will direct you more towards what you need to do for that specific skin condition that you have. So hope that helps. Remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science, and thank you once again, Carrie C., for asking the question.